and they grab a ward, so they're going to be able to block that creep camp right there, and we'll see if Lucky won is able to see that. And over here, Atsy also dropping a ward, going to drop, going to block this creep camp, the pole camp. And we see Courier going out for his heroic journey, as usual. Seems pretty popular lately. Courier needs his action as well, you know. And looks like they're going to be going to check the wards, since they have not done that. And... Alright, now we're really ready to go. The battle begins. And the rune is bottom, and it's a regen rune. <clears throat> and it'd be really interesting if this is the landing that uh, Mega Shock chooses to stay with um, Tidehunter and Ricky in the middle. But it might help them shut down the music gun. It looks like they're going to be rocking that tri lane, and they're going to have Shaitan actually just in the normal lane. That is something that I am not too surprised to see. Um, you know, with this trial lane, they're going to be able to support Bleaky, make sure he gets all of those last hits that he really is going to need as the enemy mage in order to make this game successful for them. Um, so AL looks like they're sort of going to be on a timer to really win the game, but they're going to have a really strong early slash mid game as well with that Night Stalker as long as he does a good job um, with those first night ganks as he should. Denied. And it looks like they might have shifted the lane slightly to help Musica out in the middle at well. <laughs> so lucky one in gonna be in the top lane again, going so Bleak and Godot actually just gonna be the ones in that hard lane. Shatan gonna be in the easier lane. He's gonna be able to put on some strong push as he is already with all those treants. Regeneration. And Tine Hunter grabs the regen. And we'll have to see who gets first blood here. I usually expect the team with the Crystal Maiden to get first blood, uh, but it's possible that he won't. With the Night Soccer, it seems like a pretty strong possibility, and it looks like Snoopy is going to be heading down into this rune, and he's going to try to snag that if it shows up down there, but alas, it is in the middle. And I heard Night Soccer kick off a void here. Leak still doing a good job up here. He is getting decent amounts of farm. We go and we check out the last hits real quick. He's up to 10. He's got the most. And Haste Rune on the Tide Hunter. Musica going to be in a bit of trouble here. Uh, Zelda is going to have to be careful. This could get turned around real quick with the Crystal Maiden. Got the Frostbite and the Nova at this point. Still just farming away, getting a deny off there. And uh, Atsy getting a good amount of harassment from Shatan in the middle, or in the bottom lane there. And uh, Bleak still doing a good job with that farm. And the Frostbite does go off on the bio as well as the Void. So it looks like they're going to be going for that first blood on Ricky, but a gush and a good anchor smash from Seldo, enough to make Musica back off. Doesn't look like that's gonna work out too well for them. Now Night Stalker's gonna have to be a bit careful. He does have a couple consumables and his bottle, so I expect him to be just fine. <laughs> he changed his name. Uh oh, uh oh, Bleak's gonna have to be careful, but he blinks out of there. My thanks. And Seldo is using up those consumables as a tide hunter, someone who has almost no mana in the beginning of the game. And we'll have to see the build they go go for him. Um, it's been a lot more of a refresher orb, which is kind of a really cool build. Really risky, though, because he sometimes just goes straight for it and skips the blink dagger, which makes him a little bit less useful until he gets it, unless he puts a couple more levels in that Kraken shell, which usually lets him make it into the middle of the fight. Another void goes off on Ricky, just a good harassment. And Godot able to pick up the invis rune. Seldo looks like he knows it, and they're going to be backing off. They don't want to get stunned by Vengeful Spirit and have the follow-up void coming off on the, from the Night Stalker make their lives a little bit more annoying. And if we look at the leveling, just curious to see 
what they've been going for. Uh, interesting to see the leveling that um, Ty Screen went for. Usually, sometimes you'll see people level up the sacrifice to level two, so you pretty much never run out of mana for the Frost Blast. It's kind of nice to have infinite mana as a Lich. Adzee's kicking at level four. He's got two levels in the Ether Shock and then one one. And Snoopy is going to go for the one, the one Nova Wonder for the now probably with Frostbite. Really getting the levels for the longer stun duration. Uh oh! But Celdo and Vile moving up a little bit. Does not sure. This is going to be smart for them, but they do make it out of there just fine. Uh, and Godot coming up here into the top lane, but they definitely did see it. They pinged him right there. But they, Godot is going to try to go for a gank. Looks like. Uh, it's going to be really hard for him. It's kind of an awkward position. Oh! The blinking from Bleak real quick. And some good tower pressure going on down in the bottom by Shatan. In mid lane. Going to have uh, Snoopy is looking like... Oh! The Nature's Prophet Ultimate! Almost enough to kill Ricky. The music guy's going to have to decide if he wants to dive. I don't recommend it, but Shatan coming around from the back. Uh-oh, but Ricky gets the first blood off on Musica. Shatan grabbing those trance, going to try to put some pressure on a Seldo. He's going to be able to get the right click off on him. Ricky looks like he is going to make it out of there. So they go one for one trade. Uh, but usually you don't want to lose on Night Stalker, especially not at the right at the beginning of the first night. And he is only level four, and there was some pretty heavy diving going on up here. And Godot coming in, he gets a stun off. Bleaky is going to be trying to get those that last right click off, and he is going to do it. And Lucky One is going to go down as SK. But Seldo is trapped in the middle. He got sprouted, and he also just got frostbitten. And Luki is probably going to go down. Musica is going to get the void off, and hopefully the last right clicks. He's going to have to decide who to go for. He's going to have to pick someone, though. If he doesn't pick someone, oh, just go for someone. Please, Musica, just do it. Oh, he's not going to get it. And Natsy's coming in. Now Musica going to be in a huge amount of trouble. Ricky does get the right click off here. Little bit of overextension there by Musica. Uh, not, not his best move, but he really does need. He did need that. Uh, and for anyone asking in the chat, these all three games are probably going to be on US East. That's the understanding that I have reached with, that the teams have decided on. And now they're going to be looking to put on some pressure here. But a quick TP in here by Shatan is probably going to be enough with Snoopy to stop that. Bleak just chilling, letting the tower get hit over here and putting on a little bit of pressure on the heroes. You guys are going to have a chance to win some beta invitations, so if you guys can go to the G Lounge Facebook page right here on the uh, Twitch TV, there's a link, and you guys can head over there, like that page, post a comment on the wall, and that's going to enter you for a beta invite. We're only going to be giving out one today, but we have a bunch more for the Season 2 broadcast. And Vile, now level 6, he's got that perma invis, so I expect to see a couple more sentry wards coming out pretty soon. But, uh-oh, Bleaky in the top, looks like he's under some serious pressure. His blink is on cooldown, and off cooldown in 4 seconds, and I bet he's going to make it out of there, as there is no more mana for anything else, and he is just fine. But, Vile in the back, he's going to have to be really careful getting out of there. Vile can smoke in there and mess up that blink, and that's probably going to be the end of Bleak. And there it goes. Lich grabbing the last hit. Um, supports really need that early game gold. <laughs> Sorry guys, my new bot is sort of a Nazi. I'm going to have to turn him down. Radiant's middle He's tower really is mean. Under attack. And it looks like Seldo might be coming over here for, the er for some early pushing. Seldo just dragging around that fish. He's already got his boots up. Musica has got that urn, and he also has got an illusion rune kicking around in his bottle. That's going to really help him with some ganking potential. Lucky one has just got his boots pretty much, and he's almost finished up his magic wand. With me. Oh my God! Gigi branch just kicking around. Down there, someone didn't have room for it anymore. The but Bleak now unsupported in this. But the illusion rune does go off in the middle from the Night Soccer, and he's looking to put on a little bit of pressure with those, but I'm not sure he's really going to be able to do anything without some support. Uh, uh oh, in the top, Ricky looks like they came up again for that kill. As this tower is probably going to go down, so it looks like they are going to be 
trying to trade the tower, but they might also lose their top tower. Radiant structures are fortified. And they drop the fortification as well. Uh, Musica getting shut down pretty attack. hard in this early game, which is Dyer's not really tower. what you want to see as uh, having a Night Stalker on your team, but they got that. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Radiant's top tower has fallen. And they do take down this tower as well, so they trade those towers. Uh, and Team Mega Shock up by a couple kills. You go and check out that gold grab. It's going to be pretty close. 1500 advantage for the Radiant. Most of that is going to be farmed. But Seldo looking like he might go down. He was under a bit of pressure there. The Void did go off. And it's still night. Musica really needs to start getting those ganks. Um, he's been pretty ineffective so far in this. Sorry I missed that while I was rambling. But now they're going to be able to put more pressure onto this bottom tower right here, but Seldo and Vile are coming in. They're going to have to be really careful. TPN is going to be five against three. They're going to back up as fast as they can. Shatan did get gushed, so he is going to be slowed, and the Aether Shot goes off, but it looks like all the Absolute Legends heroes are going to make it out. Snoopy, I'm not sure if that was uh, on purpose on sacrificing himself. I don't know if they wanted to go in there. I'm uh, kind of unsure as to how that went on, but Seldo did drop his ultimate, but Musica comes in, grab a kill, but he's going to go down net as well. He needs to stop overextending, or he's just going to die continually. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower has fallen. And Anti Mage is able to bring down that tower. So while all this is going on, he's just been farming. Look, he's got his Vanguard. Or not his Vanguard, sorry, he's got his treads. And looks like he is probably gonna be going for that Battle Fury first. Make sure I don't look dumb here. It's possible he could also be going for the Vanguard with the poor man shield. So Vile here, just chilling. And this smoke does go off. Shatan in a huge amount of trouble, but they do drop some dust, and they're going to try to get Ricky right now. But um, these guys going to have to be careful again. He can't keep overextending like this, or he is going to die every time. The stun goes off, as but great swap from Godot. Probably able to save Musica. It's going to be close, but Snoopy might go down as a result. And quick anchor smash is going to help kill Crystal Maiden. But looks like they... Oh my god, Musica was so close. To getting a double kill right there. Oh, and he does get it. The earn charge is enough. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. So something important to note: they might be down on kills, but the Radiant is still up on gold a little bit. They've been doing a really good job doing Radiance some. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Doing some good farm. This bot is hilarious. Shatan with 62 last hits. Anti Mage with 64 already at the 12 minute mark. And we'll have to see where he decides to go for Dyer's items right top now. Tower is under attack. A couple towers more for Absolute Legends. Shatan dropping a couple treants. Mega Shock doing a really good job in this game. I've been really impressed with all the games I've seen by them so far. Obviously, doing a great job holding their own against AL right now, but the bigger problem is Any Mage right now is probably just, I mean, he's basically on a timer. Pretty soon, he's just going to start farm, 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 farming, and he's going to be so strong in the mid to late game. Um, but, sort of counteracted Musica, not playing his best right now. We check out, he has got four deaths already. And he made wailing away. Double damage. Uh, AL been playing extremely well lately. If you guys have not been keeping up on the tournament scene, they 2 0 Navi in the Gosu Gamers Monthly Tournament uh, on Monday. That was incredible. Was really impressed by that. A little surprised. Uh. I was a little surprised not to see Moran in this game. Bleak often plays him, but I'm choosing to go for the animation. Oh, great Sentry Ward. That was a psychic Sentry Ward by Godot. And it looks like this tower is going to be under some serious pressure. They're going to have to decide how they're going to engage and who they're going to engage. If Lucky One comes in here and the War Trap also goes down, but it doesn't matter. Huge amounts of damage. Shadow Shaman going to be able to pick up that kill in that mid tower. And then it looks like Mega Shock is going to back up a little bit. They don't want to overextend and die, 
and Shadow Shaman gonna come down here. 